I've got my hot plate so that little bit of warmth um, will get my ink to go in a little bit more easily. So this just pulls it in a little bit. And the brayer is a lot more gentle on the surface of the plate than using a card. You don't accidentally introduce scratches. It doesn't look like much on the plate in terms yeah. of, it, it's subtle. Um, and this is really um, nice, loose ink that um, gives you a good amount of plate tone. So to really get your bright highlights, you need to make sure that you burnish them thoroughly. So this is called retrosage. You go and any little lint, any over wiping just sort of pushes some of the ink back into areas that I may have pulled out too much, just like dragging a little bit of ink back over it. And I'll also make sure I don't get any fuzzies. Okay. Cleaning your edges. Funny when a printmaker looks at another printmaker's work, that the first, first thing they thing look at, at the edges, mm -hmm. the registration. Yeah. We have my guidelines marked out. If you feel it, it's like barely wet. You want your paper to be cold, not wet. Um, and it's just like perfectly evenly hydrated. So I'll just put it in a blotter to make sure that it's not too bad. This is delicious paper. Make sure that you have marks for my paper, marks for my plate. It's not a lot of words. I used to roll very slowly from optimal pressure, and the guys would say, slow down, you're going to kill us all. Okay. And also, you have to remove your paper very slowly. Right. Well, you don't want to tear off fiber and 